Hi and welcome to this third video on percentage. In this video, I'll talk about percentage change, successive percentage change, and we'll also solve a few very important questions on percentage change and successive percentage change that frequent in your exams. Not only will you see questions on the same topic in quant section, but you'll also see application of the same in data interpretation questions. So let's get started. So I'll begin by discussing the concept of percentage change. So any increase or decrease in a quantity will result in a percentage change. And how do we calculate is something that I'll discuss. So let's say you're in the city Bangalore and let's say we are discussing the weather, right? So let's say between yesterday and today, the difference in temperature is like this. So let's say yesterday the temperature was 40 degrees and today it is 30 degrees. So the question is, what is the percentage change that has happened? So the simple formula for percentage change typically is the difference, that is the change upon original into 100. That means it will become 10 because 40 minus 30 is 10 upon what was the original 40 into 100 that becomes your 25 percent right so this is the simple concept of percentage change now one thing that is important is to note is the base that means if i take another city let's say we are in delhi and we are discussing same let's say your temperature and let's say the discussion is between yesterday and today's temperature and let's say now here it has increase from 30 degrees to 40 degrees so the question is what is the percentage change so although the degree change is the same 10 degrees uh, there it's increasing here it's decrease there it was decreasing here it's increasing but the formula will be the difference which is 10 upon original what is the original it is 30 into 100 so here it's not 25 as you can see it's 33.33%. So did you see the difference? So here the degree change is the same, but because the base was different, so the percentage change comes to be different. Very simple, but important. Now let's move on to the concept of successive percentage change. So let's say you joined college and let's say your first year and you got certain marks, right? Whatever, let's say X marks, right? Now what's happening is you realize that you need to work harder and let's say you got a 10% increase in your marks in second year and in the third year there's a 20% increase. So the question is what is your percentage change total right between first year and third year. So we, let's say this change is A this percentage change is B. So the formula is for the resultant change A plus B plus AB upon 100, right? So this becomes 10 plus 20 plus 10 into 20 upon 100. So these two zeros go on. So 30 plus 2, it becomes your 32%. That's the change. So this is the concept of successive percentage change now it need not always be positive right so for example let's say let's say i'll take a slightly different example so let's say you had some cash available to you and let's say you said okay let me invest a little right you got excited you heard about bitcoin and let's say you invested in bitcoins so let's say you took some amount in the bitcoin and and what you did is that let's say in the first month there was a 50 percent jump right in the value of bitcoin whereas in the second month there was a decrease by 40 percent so the question is did you make a profit or a loss so how will you do it same formula a plus b now b in this case is minus 40 as you can see right plus a b so 50 into 40 or minus 40 it is actually right 50 into minus 40 upon 100 so how much it becomes this is 10 these two zero go on 10 minus 20 so it's actually 
minus 10 percentage so basically you are at a loss of 10 percent right so simple concept of successive percentage change now let's solve a few questions that will frequent in your aptitude exams okay so the first question says my income increased by 25 percent and it is now ten thousand dollars so the question is what was the original income this is what you have to calculate so i have seen students making the mistake by saying this ten thousand and if original you have to calculate you can just subtract 25 percent from this but mind you the base earlier was not ten thousand dollars it is now the ten thousand dollars which is the new base but not earlier so the correct approach would be to find out and so we have two methods so let's say we have the standard method wherein you say x plus 0.25x equals to 10,000. So x is initial and 25% increase of x. So x 1.25 equals to 10k. You can solve this simply. Your x will come as $8,000. So this is one way. The another approach and which typically I follow, right, is that I don't use pen and paper to solve these questions. These are oral questions. So the moment he says my income increased by 25%, the moment I hear 25%, what comes to my mind is 1 by 4. That means I'll assume that my income is, let's say, 4x. Now it has increased by 25%, which is 1 by 4 of 4x, right? That means which is x. So it has increased by x. It has become 5x. But the question says 5x is actually 10,000, isn't it? The new income. So what is x? x is the multiplying factor it is 2000 here so if x is 2000 here your original was actually 8000 simple moving to the next question the price of fuel has increased by 50 percent by what percentage should you reduce the consumption to incur the same expense i think first of all this is a very very important question in exam and you will see it every now and then and it could be in different forms so sometimes the expenditure is constant sometimes it could be that the revenue is constant so revenue equals to let's say revenue equals to let's say sales right into the price so they are saying the sales is dropping by what percentage should you increase the price so that the revenue same and so on so let's solve our question the task at hand so it says the price of a fuel has increased by 50 percent okay so how I will assume is the moment I will say, okay, I'll say revenue, sorry, I'll say expense equals to price into consumption, right? So they're saying price of fuel is increased by 50%. The moment I say 50%, I will say, let us assume this is 2x. It has increased by 50%. So I'll assume it has become 2x plus x, which is 3x, okay? and this is constant the expense is constant so what should i multiply into here because ultimately the multiplication of both these right this as well as this multiplication the product are same so using the concept of simple lcm i can say this should be something like let's say three and this can be two because two into three is six three into two is six so if this increase from two to three what should this decrease by three is to two it is becoming right so as to become equal so this is simply how much one by three which is 33.33 so i can do this question orally if you don't want this method and if you want to go by the standard method even that is fine so simply what you have to do is initial price was p and consumption was c now you are saying this is equal to the price has increased by let's say 50 percentage so the new price would be 1.5 p right into the new consumption n which is you have to find out so if you solve this equation p p gets cancelled your new c new consumption becomes 0.66 of c that means how much it has reduced 1 minus 0.3333 right so your by what percentage should you reduce the question so it should actually be 33.33%. Let's move to the last question in this video. And it says, which is a better deal? 
50 plus 50 percent or 60 plus 40 percent so when i was little i used to think 50 plus 50 percent is 100 percent but is that the case no let's see what the math has to say now so instead of guessing saying 50 plus 50 yeah 60 plus 40 both 100 i think it's same i think you should do the math so let's see 50 plus 50 so let's imagine uh, the price of an item is 100 rupees now if there's a 50 percent discount on the same first is a 50 percent discount so it becomes 50 the new price now they're saying there's an additional 50 percent discount on the 50 which is now 25 that means the price was 100 and it has become 25 that means this 50 plus 50 is actually equivalent of 75 percent discount let's see what 60 plus 40 translates to 60 plus 40 percent right so let's say the price of a shirt was price of a shirt was 100 and there is a 60 percent discount right so this translate becomes 40 the price now there's saying there's an additional 40 percent discount on the same so 40 percent of 40 that means this is 16 so it becomes 24 that means from 100 it has actually become 24 so 60 plus 40 percent is actually equivalent of 76 percent discount so the math tells us that the second is a better uh, option right so thanks for watching the video in this video uh, we covered the important concept of percentage change and i think by now we finish all the important concepts of percentage and in the next video we'll discuss and solve uh, more questions and practice more questions thank you